So that's why we tell you, the Bible says, oh, I'm going to, it's better to marry than to burn. So you're going to make Jesus Lord, come on, and believe that God can do more for you than welfare, so you are going to get married and quit holding on to some benefits, going to hell for some, for some benefits. I said it and I'm going to say it again. Don't go to hell trying to keep no food steps. Man, marry me. We going to struggle and make it, but you're going to need food steps if you don't get God blessing on your life. Do it God's way. Y'all want to talk now. I mean what I'm saying. That's why y'all ain't getting married. Y'all think I'm slow. Y'all ain't getting married because the government is your husband. Yeah. You're going to have to decide you a Christian. Overcome the government. Going to burn over no sex. Because I'm scared to report a marriage. I done married people before. I remember saying I married somebody and they didn't go there and report their marriage. I said, I'll never do it again because they can keep food stamps. That ain't no faith. Struggle with God. If he would go to work, you go to work. I didn't need him to go. You go to work. If he would get a job, you get a job. Lock it down till jobs are acquired. What am I going to pay for a woman for when I'm getting the Druda and the Tula for free? Y'all heard what I said. Oh, my God. Y'all know what I'm talking about. What I'm going to get a job, what I'm going to pay for you for when you're giving me, you feeding me steak. Something wrong with that. Love is work. You brothers heard what I said. I got men of God in here that know that. They work. Take care of their wives. And if you don't, we got problems. Verse 4. For whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world. This is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. Y'all there are not there. Who is he that overcometh the world but he that believes that Jesus is the Son of God? He that believes that through God all things are possible. I don't need no crutch in life. I made babies. I'm going to stay with babies. I'm going to take care of the babies I made. Say amen. I'm, I'm letting go of my sugar daddies or my sugar mamas. We got to flip it now because some of you chicks got sugar mamas. Say amen. Yeah. Trying to figure out how to do things that don't, that the Bible calls it unseemly. Bumping stuff that don't even match, nothing even works. Your puzzle pieces are wrong. Why y'all doing over provision? Over provision, looking for somebody to take care of you. Believe your God. Overcome sin. Y'all heard what I'm saying. Y'all heard what I'm saying. I mean what I'm talking about. I live what I'm talking about too. That's what these brothers need to hear. Some of you sisters can be so ignorant sometimes trying to keep men away from truth because you think you're going to lose your control. Let up off that man. Let him hear how to be a man so he can, so he can love you for real. Are you hearing what I'm saying? No man home watching no babies. Go to work. Work is spiritual. I taught that yesterday. Work spiritual. It's spiritual for a man to go to work. Say, man, man shouldn't get stuff for free. Too much is being getting for free. And, and it's so free, it's like discounted. It ain't even free. Y'all paying me in there. It ain't even, it ain't even for free. It just ain't even a fair trade. Come on, I'm going to pay. I'm going to take her. I'm going to buy your shoes, get your hair cut, keep your nails, pedicures, done. Y'all y'all, man. Buying these brothers. Make these brothers go out here. Well, he going you know why y'all doing it? Cause he gonna go be with her. Well, good riddance. Brothers are pimping y'all. Show sure enough. I know it. I used to do it. See, I told you, you can't you can't run a game on the crackhead. 
Have you ever tried to run a game on a crack? I'm talking about somebody out there cracked that, hey man, you can't run a game on a crackhead. A crackhead like, are you crazy? I done done this, how many, I done done this, I invented that. <laughs> now I feel like I'm a type of brother that's very up on game. I remember, I remember coming out in Indies, there was a crackhead right up on me, come, I coming out in Indies, and you know, I knew he was going to ask me something, I done heard every game, I don't, give, I don't give people on drugs drinking money, I just don't do it. How you going to stand by the, <laughs> How you gonna stand in front of a restaurant where there's food and you don't want nothing to eat? <laughs> but you want my money? No, sir. And he running up. I knew he was coming with it. I knew it. I was, I was, I was, I was ready to, I had, I was, a, I was in my, mm, 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 was coming out. <laughs> but he was more crafty in his game than I was and he was so crafty I had to give him some money. <laughs> he said, player, and I said, <laughs> He said, oh, gee. <laughs> now, he done appealed to my old man, my old nature when I was a gang. Oh, oh, gee. Oh, oh hey, hey, oh, gee. Man, let me buy a dollar. I said, buy a dollar. See, I hadn't heard that before from somebody I didn't know. I, I, you know, give me, give me, lend me, I mean, give me some change. He said, let me buy like. And it made me think, like, oh, a borrow, you're going to give it back. And I'm like, dude, you don't even know me. But I laughed. I was standing there. I don't know my wife. I laughed. and said, hey, man. Hey, man. That, that, was, that was good. That was good. He said, I ain't going to lie, man. I'm going to know. You know what I'm going to do? You know, I said, hey, man. I went and gave it to him. I said, you deserve this rock. If you can get it for a dollar. <laughs> see, see, this is the problem, y'all. We need preachers that done been through some stuff. So you can't run no game on him. See, you sisters don't realize I preach the way I preach because I done that. Me and my wife, we went through all of that when we was uh, Bonnie and Clyde. You know, we was riding and dying and all that old crazy stuff. We, that's riding and lying. That's just riding and lying, filling them girls' heads up. I'm just, I'm a down, you know, come on. Down for my, all that old silly stuff. Girl, you going to jail. And, they, and the judge is going to give you a stiff a sentence because they say, girl, you got kids out here riding and dying over a man that ain't got no rings and committed to you. Say, man, where is your esteem? We did that when we was 14, 15 years old. Me and my wife went through all of them levels and seasons. And that's why I know you can't, you can't, you can't con a con man. I did all of that. When these brothers ain't serious till they get up nine to five and go to the temporary service and sit there at four o'clock until they get a job. If he ain't going, I ain't, nah, ain't no business. I'm trying to start a business. Ain't no. Nah, don't start no business. No, no, no record company. None of that stuff. Go to the temporary service and stand there until you get a job. He ain't serious till he do it. And you're not going to be satisfied to somebody love you like that. Say amen. amen. 